welcome to this tutorial um, Dr on Drupal. Um, today we're going to look at um, changing out one of the core modules or one of the calendar, the calendar module. Um, this is our standard calendar um, module, and we've got a view on here that brings uh, that gives us this this kind of standard looking calendar, which doesn't do a lot for me. So we're going to try and have a look at a full calendar. A full calendar is a really cool module. Does some really great things. You can drag um, information from one box to another, and it will change the date for you on the calendar, which is just a, a fantastic. A bit like Google Calendars does for you. Okay, so um, what you need to do is install full calendar module. You either do that uh, using a Drush, or you can use it in your normal way, um, downloading these and unzipping and all that kind of things. But there are install instructions in here. Uh, follow those if you want. Um, that's probably a good way of doing it. If you're familiar with Drush, go ahead and use that. Okay, so I've already installed this module, um, and it's in my uh, modules folder. So I'm going to go ahead and have a look at modules. Just clicking on the modules thing down there, and I have a, a different module in here, which is um, um, module filter, which gives me the option to. There we go. Um, to filter the the things that I need, so I, you'll notice here is the normal calendar. This is the the uh, the normal use calendar that we have, and we've got all these other ones down here, the full calendar things. So I'm going to go ahead and tick these things: uh, full calendar, full calendar colors, the legend, um, and the full calendar options. So they're all ticked. I'm going to enable those. I'm going to go ahead and um, save that the configuration of those things. Um, what I didn't actually just do there was disable the normal calendars, the, the original calendars uh, module, uh, which I will do momentarily. Okay. So I'm just gonna Okay. So I'm going to again uh, just pull up my calendars. Um, there we go. And I'm going to untick and disable the standard calendar module. Again, save that configuration and move on to the next um, part of this process. So we're going to have a look at our views. So views uh, are in structure. Let me click on structure, and it'll bring up our little menu. Um, I'm getting ahead of myself, aren't I? Uh, bring on structure, and it'll bring us down. We choose views from structure. Um, and it brings us into to, uh, our views look. Calendar is at the top, and I'm not going to do anything with this at this moment apart from clone it. So there you go. Uh, clone. I'll click on the clone. It'll do its little thing, and it'll give me a, a new copy of and a new name. So I'm going to call it Calendar Full. Oh, little typo there. So calendar full. I'm going to continue with that one. Uh, so it saves it as calendar full. That way I know what I'm lo I'm looking at when I'm doing these things, um, and I'm not messing around with the existing calendar. Um, so I can always go back and and use that again. If I mess this up entirely, I can go back and use the calendar that I already had because I've just cloned it. Um, I've not lost it anywhere. I also did a full backup as well um, just before I did this module uh, install. So that if I do make any really big mistakes, um, I can uh, go and fix them. Okay, so this is the um, the, dis the view. Uh, in, this is the views module, and you'll see in here that there is uh, a missing style plugin in the format, and that's because it used to have um, calendar format was calendar, and calendar is now gone from the list here. But I have got full calendar, so if I click on full calendar and just apply that. Um, that will give me um, the information that I want. And I'm just going to click on uh, apply to these. I don't want to change any of these other options at the moment. Um, just down here, um, it's got um, an error message or warning message telling me that I need to change the month, the week, the day, the year, and uh, in display box. And that's why these are also um, highlighted. So I've changed the master one. A little star next to it just to remind me that I've changed it and I should save. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just change uh, the rest of these things as well. Again, missing style plugin. 
click on that one for Kinder again, apply to the display and again I'm going to just apply, I'm not going to do anything um, anything else. I could override um, the defaults on these things but I'm not going to do that I'm just going to uh, gently continue doing my thing and go through all of these things changing the missing style plugin clicking on my full calendar and applying and I'm going to do that until uh, I get all of those things sorted out um, and if the little little boxes have stopped being red okay Okay, so now I've finished that, I'm just going to click on save uh, and save the changes that I've made in all of these um, display um, views here. Okay, so that's done that. It's given me the um, the thing that I need, full calendar instead of the missing thing. So I know that that's fine. Um, so what I'm going to do is go back to my uh, views page um, where we did the clone from, where this is this appeared from. And I'm gonna just um, quickly click on the edit uh, and then disable the standard calendar. And you'll notice that we, if you remember, we changed it to calendar full um, instead of just calendar. And calendar full has now just popped off at the top. Um, I'm just gonna go and have a look in there again just to satisfy myself that I've got the right path um, in the thing. I have indeed. Um, what you will have noticed is that this has now changed to uh, the page settings has now changed to the path. It's given it the path calendar. That's because we've disabled the other one, uh, and this one is taken over from that because what we've done is cloned it, um, and uh, effectively using that view in there. Okay, that was pretty much it. If we go back to our um, calendar and have a look at, um, so this is the the old calendar that we we which we used to have. Um, and I'm just going to refresh the page um, and hopefully uh, the thing that we'll get once the page is refreshed is an entirely new calendar so if we just scroll down a little and there we have it there is our new look calendar and the great thing about this calendar one of the great features about this calendar is that you can just pick up um, by pressing your mouse button onto a, a thing and dragging it across and putting it on an entirely different date, um, and then that will change the uh, the information in this uh, in the thing in the calendar view. So you change the date just like you would in your in your normal Google calendars and stuff. It's a really f fancy, um, useful feature, um, especially considering I've just put in a whole bunch of dates for <laughs> the weekly um, events that we're doing uh, and I put half of them in the wrong date I put them in the Thursday instead of the, the Wednesday because we've got a whole bunch of things coming up in June here at the Open Shed in Penzance so that's how you use um, or install that module um, and make it work we're just going to make it look pretty there we go but thanks for uh, listening and this was brought to you by Ian Hurst and I'm currently at openshed.org you can also find me at youthworker.org as well.